I think that esports does have the potential to reach where modern live sports are um, at, at this time, both in terms of monetary value and just in terms of social cachet, because you have all these kids that are growing up, they don't really watch TV that much anymore. You know, they, it's, it's a generation of, of cord cutters, right? Like they don't have the home phone, they have a cell phone. They don't watch TV, they have their favorite streamers, they have Twitch channels, they watch on YouTube. And all the esports athletes, those are the platforms that they're on. You know, you, you keep seeing ESPN trying to get esports on traditional television, but it's a twofold problem in that the people who watch traditional television aren't really that concerned about esports, and the people that are interested in esports aren't really watching traditional television. <laughs> so it's, it's one of those things where the media companies are also trying to figure out, okay, how do we navigate into this new area? And so as that becomes more prevalent, as wireless networks and internet access becomes more and more ubiquitous across the globe, then I think that this is something that you will continue to see rise and, and create a bigger and bigger fan base.